What is going on everybody? Welcome to the fifth Monte Carlo and Python video. In this video what we're going to be doing is actually creating uh, another better uh, that has at least somewhat of a strategy over the simple better and that strategy is going to be on loss double and then once you finally won revert back to the initial uh, wager. So with that let's go ahead and start making this guy. So make some space here and we're going to say define doubler underscore better and this guy has the exact same parameters uh, as the other ones so we'll just copy them paste don't forget your colon and come down here now the next thing uh, we want all of this stuff too so we might as well just copy all of this <clears throat> paste and now this guy he needs a couple other variables because we need to know uh, since this guy is betting based on the previous bets outcome we need to have something like that so we'll just say previous wager equals and we'll start him off on a win since uh, on a loss he's gonna double his wager and on a win he'll you know uh, wager the typical uh, initial wager now uh, the other thing we want to do is previous wager amount and that's also going to be initial uh, wager to start uh, and again so if this is a loss it's going to check the previous wager amount and it's just going to double that amount so whatever it was so we also need that uh, to save so I'm just going to squish this stuff up real quick so obviously I will just mention it again uh, but we should know via the gambler's fallacy that Usually the idea behind this strategy is that you're more likely to win the next one, so doubling up is a good idea. But really, every time you have 50-50 odds, so it's not necessarily the best strategy. Uh, but we'll let uh, the Monte Carlo simulator uh, tell us. So now we'll come down here, and we basically do somewhat something similar to what we did before. Let me move the mic a little bit. And what, so what we're going to do is we're going to say while current wager is less than or equal to the wager count, uh, if the previous wager equals uh, win, so if we won the last one, um, we'll just for now print uh, we won the last wager, great, something like that for debugging for now, and then we're going to roll the dice. So if roll dice, so if it's true, then value plus equals uh, wager, print value, and then wx dot append uh, current wager v y dot append value. So uh, if it's true, we add the wager amount because we want it, print it out just for debugging, and then we add, so we, we're going to plot the trajectory like we did before else so if roll dice is false value minus equals wager previous uh, wager equals um, loss and really what we need to do is I guess it in theory we don't really have to say previous wager equals win up here because uh, there will be no scenario where this doesn't start uh, without a win and if you won then the, the status stays the same so I guess we don't really have to edit it up there so previous wager equals loss print the value uh, previous wager amount equals wager and then again wx dot append current wager and then vy dot append uh, value Next, what we're going to do uh, for now is just uh, kind of a, uh, we'll make this better in a little bit. We'll, we'll just say if value is less than zero, uh, print, we went broke after current wager bets. Uh, so it just says we went, oh my goodness, we went broke. Um, again, we'll fix this later because what this will allow us to do is say we have 180 grand, we just lost 100 grand, it'll allow us to wager 200 grand, 
even though we don't really have 200 grand. Same thing with the other one, uh, we allowed it to go into debt. We'll, we'll fix that in a little bit, but for now we'll just leave it like this. If he happens to go into debt, then we'll just say current wager plus equals, and then we'll just do this. Uh, so it stops wagering. Now, so that's if the case is a win. Okay, so we still have to cover for um, some sort of a loss. So under this if, so two tabs, else, actually we'll do elif, previous wager equals um, loss, print, uh, we lost the last one, last one, so we'll, we will be smart and double. Okay, uh, let me make some space here, up here, down. Okay, so, um, if roll dice, wager equals previous wager amount, times two, and then print uh, we won, and then the wager, however much it is, value plus equals wager, um, then we'll print value, and then wager equals initial wager. So we're just reverting back uh, to the first wager since we just won this one, so we wanna make sure we don't continue betting this large amount. Um, and then also previous wager equals now win, so we don't keep betting on the loss amount. And then finally, wx.append current wager vy.append uh, value. So that's our if. Now uh, we'll have else wager equals previous wager amount times two print oops print wow print there we go print we lost wager value minus equals wager um, and then again we'll add this value thing here so if value is less than zero uh, print we went broke after comma current wager. Let me scroll down a bit. <clears throat> and then bets. So after X bets, we went broke. And then we'll add, we'll do that current wager plus equals a big number here. Again, not the best way to do it. We will fix this in a little bit, but uh, to keep this short as possible, we'll just do that. Then we want to print out the value previous wager equals loss uh, previous wager amount equals wager and again wx.append current wager and vy.append value if um, uh, never mind. So now, once we've got out of that else statement, uh, we want to come over a couple to be under this elif statement. So not underneath this if and else, but underneath this elif. And then we need to do current wager plus equals one. And then down here at the very end, we'll print value. And then finally, plt.plot w x v y okay so when we're all done what we're gonna do is we're gonna call doubler underscore better we start with ten thousand dollars we wager one hundred dollar wagers and we're gonna do a hundred wagers after that we'll plot dot show and then uh, let's go up here real quick. Let's import time. And after this, we'll just sleep so we don't run the rest of the code. Okay. So that should be it. Let's save it. Let's run it. 
hopefully, let's see, wager with a capital W is not found. I don't know where that is hiding on us. I wish I could find this capital W wager. Let's see, capital W match case, find next. Where are you? Oops, let's see, find another one. Man, you are. There we go. Okay. Blind. Hmm. Not sure why we're seeing this. Should not be a straight line, that's for sure. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Uh, it's probably this current wager nonsense. <laughs> That's what it's doing. Uh, so L's current wager, it gets out of this. Well, I think we should be able to just add a break into here instead of doing our uh, bad way of doing it. Because uh, that's what we're, what we're throwing here. So let me just throw a break. I think that was all we had to add. Okay, so here's our better. Obviously, we only have one better. But as you can see, every time he lost, he doubled up, and he has a pretty steady line of plus 100, actually, because um, that's what he's doing. He's doubling up. And with only 100 wagers, um, this was as risky as it got for him. It looks like he lost one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe in a row here and here. But this, uh, this better actually has a higher degree of risk involved. So we did make money, but he has a higher degree of risk. So let us show that with, instead of 100 wagers, let's do 1,000 wagers. Oh, this guy's making money actually so far. <laughs> oh, he's making bank. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, this guy's just doing super hot. Um... I guess I'll run it one more time, and I'll just pause it while it runs. Oh, this guy went broke really quick, actually. So within 20 wagers, this guy went all the way down. Um, it's interesting how it's not showing him all the way down, though. I guess it just didn't plot it or something. We broke before we plotted it. That's what happened. Anyway, he wound up at negative 2,000. Um, so at least we had somebody finally lose some money. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, here's another guy that, again, went broke. This guy ended up at minus 8,900. Again, later on, we'll make it so they only bet what they have left rather than being able to go in debt. But again, we have some people that go in debt. So, yeah, we have some success stories, but uh, as we can see, some people go into debt. The next thing that we obviously want to do is plot a bunch of these guys and really have a good sample of how many people go into debt or go even make profit versus loss, all of that. Um, interestingly enough, even at this point, with a $100 wager, um, he went down and he lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wagers in a row. So even though he had 50-50 odds, he still lost seven in a row. And we got this guy with relatively, um, I think he was our third or fourth try. So anyway, in your head, you might think, well, that's such a rare event, but it actually occurs pretty frequently and this guy it happened to him only after 134 wagers so not really that many so anyways um, that's going to include this video uh, and the next one we'll continue uh, adding to this and eventually we'll um, add some variables to this guy since this guy is doubling later on we'll uh, we'll have a Monte Carlo simulator find us the best multiple and all of that so lots of fun stuff to look forward to hopefully you guys are enjoying if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.